Talking in circles may work... Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. There has to be a reason Sophanes can't sign the list himself. Well, he would, but he isn't nearly as uh, able as you are. Meaning? Meaning you have skills he doesn't possess. He'd fail if he tried on his own. Why Athens? Surely he's a citizen somewhere else already. Everyone wants to be an Athenian citizen, even if they don't say so. Sophanes has a mind for politics, but can only participate as a citizen. I didn't realize you had a list of mercenaries you favor. And I'm at the top? Of course you are. Although, if you ask nicely, I would happily let you be on the bottom. This sounds simple. Now tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> You should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. I don't speak in circles or any other shape. You answered one of my questions, and that brought another to mind. Uh, I see you have good taste. I'm spotted here. Yeah. Oh. There, his name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades.
My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So, you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. must be a good reason we can't be witnesses. Of course. The witness must be an Athenian citizen, but it can't be a friend. Be careful with Perus, though. It's easy to lose oneself in his gaze. If there is more after this, I want to know now. Of course. This should be the last thing. Should? I mean is. Time to find Peiros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peiros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. Let's go. That's the guy Alkibiad is called handsome. Can't say I agree with him. You tell Theon I'm not giving him any more. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There is a man trying to become an Athenian citizen. You're going to be his witness. Me? Why? Because Alkibiadis said you're the one to do it. Ah, oh, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sophanis. Sophanis? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't care what he's done. You're still going to help me. I won't help someone who betrayed his men to the enemy for Drachmi. 
and you shouldn't want to either. Men like him don't deserve to live, let alone be citizens like the rest of us. Ah, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. You're going to help, but it's your choice how bloody you are when you do. Or maybe I'll go to Theon and see if he'll pay me to get what you owe him. You can't threaten me and expect to get what you want. You'll regret that. That's enough. I'll do what you want. Even after all Sofan is dead, he gets another chance. Oh. Yourself. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did matter to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad. How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder, then, if bad actions can reverse good, or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods.
ο σύζυγος σημώνεται. This area will be well defended. The watch <laughs>
well. Thank you. You are. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You lied to me again! This isn't how friendships work, Itor! Listen, please. I'm sorry. But you don't know what this man did to me. That's fucking rich, Hitor. Why don't you tell her the truth? Shut up, murderer. What's going on? Trust me, this man needs to die. I gave you a contract to bring him to me. Do not interfere, and I will reward you well. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him would make you feel better? I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry! You destroyed my life that night. But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you? Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't drop off on you. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it.
to embark! Where is he now, Commander?
hell be on high alert here? Let's ride. a mercenary can do for you today, healer? I heard you hate bold people. What? It's okay. I hate bold people too. That Hippocrates is one ugly malakas. Bold or not, Hippocrates is a nice man. I don't think he should be judged on his hair loss. It doesn't matter if he's nice. He just shouldn't be bold. I have a cure, though, and it isn't herbs. And what is that? Hippocrates' ugly, bald pate has given me inspiration. Do you know what makes a good substitute for hair? Bear hair! If all the bears around here were to drop dead, I may cure this world of baldness. You want me to find and slay all the bears? You understand perfectly, then. I'll take care of it. Thank you, Miss Dios. Here. Oh, Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 
You're back. Have you killed them? I took care of them. Every last one. Great work, Mistyos. You've earned your drachmi. Happy to help. Vamos! <laughs> Let's go! They stole it of all the things they could take. You say somebody stole something? Somebody stole something? Look around. Bandits took almost everything. And worst of all, they stole my family's vase. After so many generations, it's gone. I carry with me something passed down from my mother. I appreciate the value of family heirlooms. It's strange how inanimate objects can generate real feeling in us, isn't it? How much is this vase worth to you? I pay a substantial amount of drachmi for it. A very substantial amount. Is finding my vase something you could do? I'll find your vase, but I'll need some ideas of where to look for it. Speak with my slave near the warehouses. I sent him to uncover what he could from other slaves in the area. Hopefully he's learned something by now. 
I'll return if I find the vase. Your monster tells me you might have learned something about the missing vase. I have, but I'll need something from you before I can talk about it. I don't like conditional deals like this. I have a job to do. I understand. But what I need from you isn't a labor or an action. It's a commitment. So, what do you need? I'm hoping that after you retrieve the vase, you'll tell my master that I told the bandits to loot the house. Why would you want to do that? After the summer solstice, my master plans to give me my freedom. But I don't want it. I'm hoping that if I take partial blame for the crime, I can offer my continued servitude as atonement. That's ridiculous. But I'll think about it. Now, tell me about the bandits. Other slaves in the area assure me that the bandits from the northern hills of Mount Ohi are the ones ransacking the nearby homes. The northern hills of Mount Ohi? Is there a more precise place I should look for these bandits? The slaves mentioned there's a copper mine in the area. That's where I'd put my hideout if I was a bandit. I'm curious why you're not excited to have your freedom. With my master, I have purpose, responsibilities, food and shelter. All the things I wouldn't have on my own. With your freedom, you can acquire all that, you know. We all have different circumstances and abilities, Mistios. This life offers me the best chance of survival. I will go find these bandits and get your master's vase. Remember what we talked about when you return it to my master. are in the northern hills of Mount Ohi. There it is, a copper mine. Right, the vase should be here. I should try to stay alive. Oh, 
I'm free once more, all thanks to you. Let me out of here! Thank you. The gods will not forget your actions, Mistyos. All this trouble over an old vase. Slave wants me to lie for him. <laughs> Have you found my vase? Yes. That's great news. Who took it? Turns out, your slave told the bandits to loot your home and take the vase. What? Can this be true? Yes, master. If you'll allow me to make atonement, I'll... Atonement? Never! I won't allow a slave who tells bandits to steal from his master to work for me. What? No. Please, no. Let me stay. I won't hear it. Leave now. Before I pay these mystios to kill you. Go! Just when you think you know someone. Here's your payment for returning my vase.
Yes? I've sunk the ships. I knew I liked you. Xenia will be pleased that her waters are back under her control. Flattery is fine, but I'm here for the bounty. Of course. 